So this is how to carve your pumpkin. It's the second video out of two. Uh, the first one tells you how to design your pumpkin for carving. Uh, that's picking the face and drawing it on your pumpkin. So now we're going to cut the face that we've already drawn on the pumpkin. So for tools, you need four things. A scoop, a probe, a mini saw, and a smooth blade. So your scoop is to scrape the things out of the inside of the pumpkin. Your probe is... It's optional, kind of. Um, it's basically so you can, if you're using a um, template, you can trace around your template just by probing through the template. Um, but it's also in place of your mini saw, which you'll use to cut most things and um, plunge into the pumpkin and cut things out. You can use that in place of the saw because sometimes that, that blade, what makes it nice is that it's, it's thin but then what makes it challenging is that it's thin, so sometimes when you push it in or you get caught on something, it'll bend the blade. Uh, so you can use the probe to punch into the pumpkin and then use your saw from there. Um, and then the uh, smooth blade is, um, what I got is actually a is actually one of the pressed thin knives because they're, they're a lot thinner than the um, fancier knives that are folded over on each other. Um, anyway, which makes it really nice to get thin cuts and slice slice things off the pumpkin. So these are what I use when I carve pumpkins. So how to carve our pumpkin. I've already got my face on there. Um, what do I need to do first? I gotta I got clean this bad boy out. And you do it in the, starting at the top. Only, it only, only needs to be big enough to get your fist in. Um, and you gotta go in an angle. Uh, don't make the mistake that I did once and kind of do it straight down because uh, then this just falls straight down in there. Um, so here we go. Oh, fortunately, that's what the other tools are for, right? So it does come with this pumpkin carving kit. It comes with this bad boy. And it's used for doing part of the stenciling, but you know what? I am going to do it for just puncturing this so I don't mess up my little weak saw. It is kind of weak, but you know what? The fact that it's thin, that makes it cut a lot more precise and quicker. So I'm going to make sure this, this is cut all the way through before I go and snap that stem off. So one thing you need to be careful of, it's interesting, interesting story. We have these other blades that are basically straight handle, straight blade. So the blade, so there's no guard like this on it. And my wife was doing this a couple of years ago when we were carving pumpkins. And I was like, be careful that you don't slice your hand open by doing this. Because she was like trying to jab it into the pumpkin. And I'm like, you're going to cut your hand open. Um, hmm. she, she did all right. She didn't, she didn't cut her hand open, but then I borrowed that life later and, um, I cut my hand open. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was fun times. Irony, right? Okay. So there we go. There we go. Uh, this is a thick pumpkin. It's a lot thicker than I thought. All right. This is where your bowl comes in. These are great if you're roasted. Yeah. Um, I say, hopefully you'll do that. It really doesn't matter to me, but they're really good. Yeah. Anyway. I grew up with that, so it was nice. Oh, the smell really brings me back to, like, childhood. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, the scoop fell on my hand, and I was like, what is in here? Something just jumped on my hand. So I've got my little scoop. I'm scooping them out. It really doesn't have to be perfect. Just enough to get it pretty open. I mean, if you want to salvage all those seeds and whatnot, yeah, that's that's all, that's all good. It'll take me a lot more work, but I'm just looking for a good enough. Okay, now I'm going to wash my hand and get back to work. So here we're going to cut this, and uh, do not start with this. You will probably end up slicing your hand open by doing this, and uh, 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 psh, that's what I did. Warning. Okay, so I've got my negative area done on here. Hopefully you can kind of see that. I'm gonna just um, follow roughly along my original line. <laughs> Remember, don't cut into the eyeball you've drawn because that's not negative. You're only cutting out the negative area. So we're just gonna skin that and round it off later. Wow, this, this little saw is flexible. Maybe a little too much. Oops. All right, let's get this eye out. Okay, so now we've cut out our negative space. Ah, 
oh no, that would be too good to be true to just push it in. I didn't do it at the right angle. I think I did it more at a, I have to pull it out angle. Um, so let's see if we can push this out. Oh my yeah. Ceasefire. All right, that's done. I guess I didn't have to push that out. So I drew this two different ways. I need to make sure that I do it the way that I actually want to do it. I'm going to go with the looking down, not as screwy wandering eye. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it following my second drawing, which is the less obvious one. So I just got to stay focused on this. I think it looks similar to that. Okay, it actually does kind of go down lower on the side. All right. Let's see, what do I need to do? Push in? No. Push out? Ah, there we go. So I've got that. That one actually goes a lot lower on the side, so I'm going to... You can see that one's low, this one's not as low. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh yeah, both are low. It's lower all around, isn't it? So I guess i got to do this. Oh my golly. Whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't. It really doesn't matter. It's just... If you do the general concept, that's really your, um, I want to say money maker, but I mean, you're probably not profiting from this. Um, but it's, it's really where you'll get your effect really strong. Okay. All right. Good. Now we can do the eyes or the, uh, the rest of the eyes. So that, mm -hmm, this is almost centered. So let me, let me just kind of make sure it's more centered. So I'm going to just kind of do a bigger centered pupil. Not too big. This is just kind of a little character thing. It really, I mean, it doesn't actually have to be open, but we can get it that way. Great. There we go. It can have the light shine through. And I want to make sure it's in the middle and not off center like this one is. So I'm just going to kind of recenter the concept. And it does look like it's about a centimeter away from the bottom-ish on the other side. So try and keep it about the same and a little bigger than a quarter oh wow wow ceasefire crazy tree branches hope there wasn't a squirrel on there <laughs> i guess if there was he probably jumped off okay boop push that eye in okay so now we do our mouth we're just going to focus on the negative areas we're, don't worry about this edge do not cut along like this you'll you'll lose the whole um, sloppy mouth syndrome um, lips stuck together and especially I guess I can check and see if I want to just make it look keep those in orange or if I want to if I want to actually um, make them a white color although since I use permanent marker I think I might have committed myself by coming back with that blue I'd have been okay if I'd have stuck with the uh, with the um, uh, uh, dry erase, but either way, whatever, it'll all be fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just, oop, oop. <laughs> Conceptually, we're just doing these little ovals, right? Is it gonna go in? No, this one needs to come out. Come on. I'll just use that little accidental stab I did a second ago. Follow this down. And maybe curve it in sooner. Whatever. Oh, let's do this. Come on. Come back up. Oh, my, my saw is going a little crazy here. I guess that one's coming out. Nope. Nope. Come on, work with me. Get in there. Bye bye. Good. Oops. Wow. These things are resilient and that they bend back. Going in, you're coming out. Nope. Let's see. You're going in. Get in there. 
Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this last side bit too. I guess you're coming out. And there we go. We got our basic cuts done. Kind of lightly reminds me of Nightmare Before Christmas in a way. I'm not really, I've never even seen the movie, but I think it vaguely, I don't know, whatever. Maybe somebody who's seen that would know. But, so what happens now? Now, now is where we get out this. We don't need these other bits anymore. This is where we skin the eyes and skin the mouth. So we're gonna go, we're gonna decide where our edge is. And maybe I wanna get rid of this. Let's see, does that wipe off? <laughs> no, of course not. So I can go ahead and just snip that off like this. Yep, there we go. Okay, I'll give a little skin over there. But what I wanna do is primarily see this eye. I really want to see this eye. So I'm just going to stay right along the edge. I'm going to come back and I'm going to start skinning it. Just be careful. I mean, you can just kind of make little slits and then pull it off in little bits. One thing I like to do is I like to really round the edges, give it more of an eye look. It really is starting to look like a, a wide eye on a quasi-flesh backdrop, right? And it really doesn't matter if you go too deep. I might have just cut myself there. Um, because you've got a fairly thick palette to work with here. You can kind of trim out some of this this other stuff in here. Just It's taking up space because it's just in an angle. You can just kind of hack that out and it makes it look bigger. But all you're really doing is just kind of shaving off the backside. I want to give depth. I mean, you don't have to worry about it too much. I, I'll, I'll overdo it. But, I mean, just conceptually, if you're just in the general bar, ballpark, you know, it'll be a very similar finish. I want my eye to be nice and round. So I'm going to round my eye. And I'll even get it more round down here at the bottom. So then it'll just almost look like it's a 3D eye sitting sitting on this socket. I mean, you can do this or not, you know. Most people probably won't even notice, but um, I do, so. I like to go that extra little step, but you probably, you, know, you don't really need to. There we go. So now, again, we wanna cut around the edge of our eye and then just start shaving. I know up here I want it rounded, so I'll go ahead and I'll just cut at an angle. Right on down to here and pop it out. Come down here at an angle. Oh, Got to get all the way through. And pop it out. And I want to just shave. I'm careful, you know, my hand being here is a risk. You probably should keep your hand out of the way. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can be a little up, but that's fine. Maybe do more of an angle here. I want to help you, Daddy. You want to help me? I want a piggy. You want a piggy? Which one is it? Do you want to help me or do you want a piggy? Okay. All right, so we do this mouth. Just go along the bottom edge. It can actually be outside. Let's see if we can do this.
Oops. And now shave. Oops. Snap it out. Snap it out. Oops. Snap it out. Peel. Shave. Snap it out. Now I just... Oops. <laughs> Oops. Heavy handed. Oh, I just kind of clean them up. Clean out the bits. And we'll want to round them out. It's being too square here. Doesn't look, doesn't look so cool. You like yellow. I like yellow. I like yellow. You look good in yellow, kiddo. Just clean up the eyes. Oop. Get out of there. Nope. Nope. Not that much. Oop, not that much. There we go. Nice crisp opening. All right, so that's pretty much it. So, yeah, this is a very sloppy smile. Somebody who probably hasn't brushed in a while and can't seem to open his own mouth, which would be fun, especially when it's lit up. That's one way to do a pumpkin um, with a lips that are kind of stuck together or he's got a really sloppy, spitty mouth. Uh, we all know this one person, that little spit that just always stays in their mouth. It's just like open. Anyway, yep, this guy's got it bad. So that's it on this guy, and um, we'll do another one soon.